Hi, this is Mrs. Fiedler. Today I'm going to show you how you can create your own screencasts online for free using Screencast-O-Matic. So the first thing you're going to do is in Chrome, go to Google, search Screencast-O-Matic. Go to the website, click on the Start Recording button, and then the record screencast button. And what will happen is the launcher, uh, it will automatically launch your recorder. And a couple of things will then happen. First, this little window appears and this is kind of the default screen. And we're happy with all of those defaults so you can close that screen. Um, you can also close the screencast-o-matic page. We don't need that anymore. And what you'll notice is it has this funny little black and white uh, dotted box that appears and you can alter the size of that box. But what it is, is everything within that box is what your viewers will see in your screencast. So again, you can alter the size of it and maybe just show some of your desktop icons, whatever it is you want to display. For my purposes today, I want to display my entire screen. And I'm going to kind of act as if I were um, an eighth grader in my Genius Hour project showing a website that I created for my project. So I'm going to go to the internet and I'm going to find my website that I created. And I'm going to play with the box a little bit to get as much of the screen as possible. It would probably be helpful to show your viewers the URL, so you don't want to cut that out. All right, that looks pretty good. So uh, when I'm ready to start recording, I click this record button. It will give me three seconds. And then I can begin my um, tour of my website. I can click on my different tabs, talk about maybe some of the challenges I faced when I created my Genius Hour project, and maybe some of the things that actually um, got produced because of my project. Whatever it is your language arts teachers have told you to present on, make sure you follow their rubrics. When you're satisfied with your screencast, you can click the pause and done. Let me show you before we um, go to the, the saving part, let me show you what you can do if you mess something up and you wanna go backwards. If you get your mouse and you drag it back to the point before you made your mistake, um, then you can record from there and it will truncate to that position wherever you backed it up to. Otherwise, try to just do it in one fell swoop and then you can go straight to the saving. All right, so done. And it's going to give me some options. I want you to save it as a video file. Make sure, and it should do this, save as an MP4. That MP4 format is super important when we get to our augmented reality Erasmus stage of your project. So MP4 format. Um, notice it is saving it to your desktop. and publish. So it will take a couple of minutes to save your um, screencast. Notice it's saving it as an MP4 format video file. All right, and now we're done. So we can close this, we can close that, and there's the recording right there. So at this point, I want you to go to the computer icon, double click on the, the um, drive that has your student ID number, and then open your Genius Hour folder that you created. If you recall, you created that folder when you moved your um, yearbook photos into that folder. This is where I also want you to save 
your Genius Hour recording. Save it in that Genius Hour folder. That way, when we create our auras for the Erasmo project, you're going to be putting your yearbook photo together with this screencast, and it will be super simple if it's all in one place in that Genius Hour folder. All right, well, good luck. If you have any questions, if you run into any problems, I'm happy to troubleshoot. Um, the best time to reach me is during eighth grade um, leopard time, but you can pop in and ask me for help at any time. Good luck with your projects.